transaction mode here the things are quite different okay if i select here automatic it means that it will take everything from i mean it will inherit uh, this property from input node if if on my input node is yes and on mq output i am selecting automatic it means that it will take uh, transaction mode as yes okay it will derive uh, from input if it is yes then explicitly it is yes if it is no then it is no okay so this is the meaning now what if my transaction mode is yes okay suppose let me uh, bring everything back to normal okay let me uh, select here the queue name suppose i want the message to be sent to uh, another queue using uh, another mq output let's put another mq output let's connect another terminal out one okay now put any provide any queue name here i am providing the same wrap dot queue okay now uh what i am doing is first i want to send the message here and then here okay this is the requirement okay if i select transaction mode yes then see what happens let me deploy it deployed transaction this is all no 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 let me make some changes here this is not required i can comment it using double slash i can comment a is equal code okay now i want to send it to uh, here first and then here here it is connected to out one so how i can do it i can do it using this See what I did. Terminal zero means the out terminal. See return true also means sending the message to out terminals, but I am just uh, changing the way. Okay, so don't uh, worry about the syntax. Okay, we'll learn all these things in SQL series. Okay, so just understand first I am sending the message to output terminal on this queue. Then I am sending the message through one terminal on. on this queue okay then return false return false means don't send anything just stop okay these things i'm doing okay so return true also means sending the message to out output terminal and propagate to terminal zero also means that sending the message to output terminal both are same thing okay i'm just change the way of writing the code that's it let me deploy it Okay, debugger is already launched. Right, message came. Okay, this is the case when my transaction mode is yes. So I'm moving ahead. Okay, I came here. Now move ahead. Move ahead. See, uh, my control uh, already went here, okay, 
and it wrote the message on the queue so let me browse output queue mm, let me clear everything let me tell you from the scratch okay let's understand this again launch more right debugger is launched see i uh, didn't uh, go inside the computer node directly because i didn't click it so it directly came here no worries so it is going to write a message on output queue okay after writing it went there but see can i see any message on output queue two messages are coming why Mm, I think there is some problem because I think the transaction mode is yes. Okay, transaction mode is yes. Then from where these two messages are coming on this? nothing is there let me delete this app let me deploy it again launch it okay right go ahead message is copied go ahead okay move ahead let's see see nothing came here why see my uh, control already went here and it wrote the message on queue but nothing came here why because my transaction is not still complete okay my transaction i mean my flow will complete when it will write the message on this queue then only my flow will be completed okay so if my transaction mode is yes okay if my transaction mode is yes on mk output okay then the operation which it is performing what operation it is writing a message on a queue okay that i mean the all those operations okay which are getting performed are only be committed or only be performed once my transaction is complete the the moment i complete my transaction see now it is completed okay terminated means completed then i can see a message see one message came here okay once my transaction is completed i can see a message here no this is important to know why because see suppose uh, after writing the message here there is some exception let me create some exception let me provide some wrong queue name so that some exception may occur okay build and save deploy launch now exception will occur because queue is wrong okay it will show unable to open queue something like that fail to open queue okay because this queue is not present anywhere so exception occurs but uh, my flow wrote the message on this queue and after that it went there and it encountered an exception 
ओके इफ माई एक्सेप्शन इफ देर इज एन एक्सेप्शन सी ओके आई कैन नॉट सी एनी मैसेज हेयर बिकॉज माई एक्सेप्शन अकर्ड एंड दैट एक्सेप्शन रिमेन्ड अनहेंडेड ओके दैट मीन्स माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज नॉट कम्प्लीटेड इफ माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज नॉट कम्प्लीटेड देन आई कैन नॉट सी एनी थिंग एनी ऑपरेशन विच आई परफॉर्म्ड इज गेटिंग बेसिकली कमिटेड ओके देर इज नो मैसेज हेयर बिकॉज माई ट्रांजेक्शन मोड इज येस एवरीथिंग विल बी फाइन ओनली इफ माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज एवरी ऑपरेशन विल बी कमिटेड इफ माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज कम्प्लीटेड माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज नॉट कम्प्लीटेड सो माई ऑपरेशन आर रोल्ड बैक ओके नथिंग इज देयर ओके नो वॉट इफ आई सेलेक्ट नो इफ आई सेलेक्ट नो इट डजेंट मैटर इफ माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज कम्प्लीटेड और नॉट ओके इफ आई सेलेक्ट नो इट डजेंट मैटर इफ माई ट्रांजेक्शन इज कम्प्लीटेड और नॉट माई ऑपरेशन इज विल बी कमिटेड okay so let me hit this flow move ahead it wrote the message see my even if my transaction is not completed i can see the message see browse one okay and even though uh, this is the wrong queue name exception will occur but still i can find a message because my transaction mode was no so it doesn't matter if my transaction is completed or not the moment i perform the operation it will be committed okay this is the difference okay so transaction mode yes means all i mean all the operations will be performed only if transaction mode is only if transaction is completed if my transaction mode is yes and all all the operation will be performed no matter if my transaction is completed or not in case of transaction mode is no okay so this is the difference okay guys thank you so much